Hey everybody. Uh, so today's video, I'm gonna talk about these uh, fake Shimano chains. So I got two chains here. One is fake and one is real. Hmm. Uh, all right. I'll go ahead and let you know. This is the real one here. Getting the close up of the uh, links and such. And this is the counterfeit fake Shimano chain. Um, you know, and the boxes. Uh, I've seen some that were not, you know, definitely different. A uh, customer brought this in, got it on Amazon. I don't know if this is the exact one, but anything that's in the $20 range, I'd be a little suspect of it, maybe. Um, this is the back side of the boxes. Um, you know, you can kind of, the one on the left there is the imposter, and the one on the right is the genuine Shimano chain. So you can tell the font on the lettering's a little different. Um, but you know the that where it says HGEV, the font there is a little different as well. But just you know, taking this thing out, the, this was the one, the first thing that I really uh, suspected it was the counterfeit was that the quick link was the quick links are inside the bag on the fake one, <clears throat> and the Shimano chains they're always anything that comes with a quick link is going to be in a separate bag so you know it's, it's kind of shady you know I'd say a home mechanic that's not dealing with chain you know I probably put two to six new chains on a you know these chains on a bike every single day so I'm pretty uh, you know I can tell just kind of looking at it if things are different there's always like a hand marked that little blue check mark is it's a hand marked uh, little check so that's another thing on Shimano you'll see that blue check mark that's not symmetrical but anyway this is the old chain <clears throat> I pulled it off just kind of to set it side by side and you know like I say the untrained eye it's pretty difficult to tell but you can you know there's a unique smell to Shimano chains, and this one definitely didn't have it. So it's you know, was, I went ahead and decided to put it on just to see how it felt, and pretty much felt like junk. It shifted okay, but anytime you you know, it just felt rough. Kind of felt like a a good chain on a worn out cassette maybe, but it didn't slip. But it just felt rough. You get it in the bigger, big, big combinations, and it it was really noisy. Felt rough. But, you know, I, I I wanted to pull this thing apart just to kind of look inside to see really what the differences are. At this, you know, once I went out and wrote it, I called the customer and, you know, or just said, hey, this these chains are, I think you got some bogus chains here. And so the, the customer, you know, we he just ended up getting some genuine Shimano chains from us. Uh, the retail cost on these chains is $41.99 if you get them from a bike shop. But, you know, you realize you are getting a... The genuine real deal chain uh so anyway yeah the difference was night and day um long and short of it putting this putting the, the genuine chains on uh so anyway just taking apart the uh the um the fake chain there and uh give inspecting it the pins they're a little different color it did have a nice little outer ring uh little edge there that holds it in it was difficult to pop out but um, you know, it is definitely the inner and outer plates or between the two chains are vastly different. Um, you know, I don't, until I basically pulled this apart and just compared the two together, it's hard to really understand the, the complexity that goes into a Shimano chain, just the, the precision and, you know, and, um, all the work that goes into it that's just going to make a make a better performing much more durable chain uh so <clears throat> you know it's yeah so just looking at the you know comparing the two inner plates here you know the part that goes you know kind of holds the roller in and um you know if you look at those two plates side by side uh we got the 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 fake one the real one here I'm gonna have in my uh, left hand and then the 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 fake one in my right hand uh, so you can see the one on the left there's there's much more to it you know the beveled part goes all the way around the 
a round portion of the chain there's a little ring part there where the the actual roller goes against and then these are two examples of the outer links the outer plates there and so you know this, these are the ones that have the text on them um, so these would be the two that would be facing out and <clears throat> You know, from the outside they look similar, although the, the fake one there on the top is kind of distorted um, from pushing the pins through. But you can see, you know, once I flip this around, there's those two kind of, the where it's thinner in the midsection. There's those little curved sections you can see in the middle. Um, anyway, this is this is a, just a quick comparison, flipping the chain over. And you can see on the back side of the outer plates, you know, the side with no text that would be facing inwards towards the center of the bike it's it's different uh, it's got a longer portion on the bottom there and uh, shorter on the on the top and then just reversed as you move to the other side and this side the fake chain is it's the same either way as you flip it over the tech side or the other it's just there's two equally machined out portions there so you know just again that's the Shimano outside and then it's different on this side uh, so yeah that's um, you know just little things like that that are kinda hard to pick up um, that's the difference uh, so anyway hopefully you found the video insightful or helpful and got something out of it if you have a chain that just can't figure out why you put a new chain on and got it off Amazon at a really good deal and you just can't figure out why it's not working just right so anyway yeah that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching we'll see you next time real soon